Hello friends, welcome to Tech Lake video tutorials. In this ongoing Spark SQL uh, video tutorials, uh, today session I'm going to start with the uh, delete operations. So past few sessions we started with the uh, Spark SQL or you can say Databricks SQL DML operations. Like uh, insert, truncate we covered in previous sessions. So today session primarily we will focus on delete. How to delete data? and how many ways which we can delete data and what are the types of delete operations and how to achieve that in a better way. Uh, when it comes to Databricks SQL, like DML operations, especially update, delete, merge. Always remember, update, delete, merge. These operations only it will support delta tables like restore, merge, update and delete but truncate insert which you can do any kind of file system but these operations only supports delta table only supports delta lake tables of table type or storage format format type should be a delta so let's understand delete operations let's understand delete operations so delete is a common in uh, every sql language you can choose any database, uh, any database like traditional RDBMS, Oracle, Teradata, DB2, MySQL, SQL Server, any database, DML operations, when it comes to DML operations, delete is one of the common operations. So deleting data from a table, it's a DML, data manipulation language. So there, TCL will be there, which you need to commit or nothing but, which you need to save the data, commit or roll back, undo the data. But a Databricks backend is a file system, distributed file system. So there is no manual TCL here. Everything is managed internally. And you can't find a TCL explicitly here. So Delta is one of the format which enable you data manipulation uh, operations on top of this file system, like nothing but on data lake. So how we will achieve delete on Delta tables? and with uh, more operations, with more operations. I'm going to create a table. The table name is employees. It is having a two columns, employee ID, employee name, location ID. And I'll create another table called locations table, location ID, location name. Okay, first we will see deleting data directly from the table or deleting data from other table dependency, which is nothing but which is uh, will create one uh, query and the query basis which we will delete. So let's verify here somewhere. Uh, so. Table not found, okay, employees. So here I created as employees, then here employee S is missing. So I created the table again, then uh, Let's see with the a result. Now, first we'll see the all the data. First we'll see all the data. Without a filter condition, select star from the table. Okay, so here you can find the table, employee ID, employee name, and location IDs as well. Nine records are there. I want to delete location ID one employees, like these two employees I want to delete. Always remember when you are deleting, first run a SQL query. Make sure that you are deleting only those records. It is not going to impact other records because when it comes to real time, most of the human errors, human errors are little small, small mistakes we will do while deleting data. So before deleting data, just to verify that location ID filter condition so where location id one so how many records are coming so that id basis three records are there three records are coming now if i do delete delete from this table so delete from this table where location id one so it will delete only those three records let's run this make sure that you are going to delete only those records by mistake if you ignore that where class what will happen? It will remove entire records. So now data is deleted. You can verify in the table. You cannot find a, or you can query that. 
three records are deleted you cannot find the location id one but other data which is available let's see this okay three records out of nine three records are deleted condition based but if you ignore a where class just if you go with a delete from this table what will happen it will delete entire table data it will tell it entire table data that is common entire table data default effector rows minus one and if you look at this table the table does not contain any data because we deleted entire table data you see this always remember human errors will come only while deleting data so that will impact more so be careful while deleting data and verify the select query before deleting now and anyway it is a delta table so i can restore so if i go to the describe table describe table so describe history so which will give you complete information about this uh, number of versions edit log i did it delete i did it delete so i want this version data version one i want the data so even you can select a state a star from the table version as of one So I'm going to select data and nine records, you can see nine records are coming before deletion because I'm going to restore this data. So how to restore? Restore table, table name to this version. So I'm going to restart data, whatever data I deleted, I'm going to restore. Now the table is having total data. Then I'll create another table called locations. Then I'll explain this. Then I'll explain this. So it is restoring. Wait a few more seconds. It is running now. Now, let's see number of files restored, size, and uh, now verify the data. You can verify the data. So we restored that nine records. Now the table is having the data. After deletion, I restored because it is a delta table. Delta table is having a restore option. Delta table is having a restore option. I restored based on version number now. So this is another table called location table. Employees and locations. Okay. Now it is having some locations details, location ID, location name. Now I want to delete data based on subquery. Subquery means delete from this table where location ID, where location ID, that location name should be Chennai. So if you run this query, what will happen? It will return location ID. That is called where class subquery. Where class subquery. Single quote is not ended properly. Now location ID is three. So because that employee table does not have a location name, so I'll select a location ID using this subquery and where class, instead of giving a directly value in a delete from the table, earlier we gave a location ID like this, right? Now I want to take that location ID from another table. So this is where class subquery, where class subquery, or uh, even inline queries also we can use, that is different. So this is where class subquery. Where class subquery we are using, then we are getting that ID, ID three you will get, the three ID employees it will delete. So this is another option, which you can create a dependency on that, then you can do. So this table name employees, yes is missing. Yes. Now it is deleted. Let's verify. This table location ID three are same query you can run. Just uh, select star. Okay.
So make sure that, so that records is not available. Let's comment this and run this. So remaining data, it will be available. Okay. Now, even I can use a greater than that minimum ID from this location, minimum ID greater than that. So it will keep only minimum location ID, then it will remove remaining everything. So here, minimum ID is one, then remaining location IDs, it should delete. So two and four locations, it should delete. So this is another query. So inside subquery, we are taking a minimum location ID, this employees table name. Five records, it is deleted. Five records, it is deleted. Only location ID data is available, one ID, okay? Now, even you can use a exist, not exist. So this is called a correlated subquery, correlated subquery. Instead of in, you can, you can use exist. Exist will give you better performance for delete operations when you are going for a correlated subquery. It will give you better performance because exist always written to boolean value true or false so your where is expecting a boolean value then it will work faster than in operator in operator what will do it will first take the result from this query then it will pass the result to the outer query so this is inner query or sub query this is up outer query so instead of that you can go with exist consider if you run this query just instead of delete select star from select star from okay this is uh, employee locations table we should like select a locations table because this is a different id we are taking from the same table but uh, it should be locations table Okay, now even directly you can give, but just in that location is Chennai, right? The location is not Chennai. What is the location of that first location? Bangalore. So you can give another condition because directly you are giving ID here. Instead of that, you can give ID here. Okay. Just a name equal to Bangalore. So you can use a one is where class a subquery in operator if it is returning a multiple values you can use that another option is exist another option is exist when you are using exist right so correlated subquery so correlated subquery this table this table is having id column that where class you see condition so based on that whatever data it matching it will return the data both are same only. Result wise, both are same. Only that uses exist here in operator. Okay, exist and in operator. You can use a not in. Other than that, other than that, anyway, we delete the remaining data. You don't see any data. You don't see other data. Here also, you can use not exist. Exist in not in not exist so compared to in exist will give you better performance compared to not in not exist will give you better performance for a delete operations or even data retrieval as well so this is a correlated subquery we will call it as correlated subquery okay now you can use a delete from this table exist if record exists based on this condition this is the condition now only three records are there that three records it will match and then it will delete so you see this delete operation is going on now nothing will be available in the table so now if you select that nothing is available because we deleted the entire table data nothing is available only three records was there the three records also deleted so this way which we can go for a delete operations delete operations on directly entire table data condition basis just you can give a where class and condition or subquery which you can give it take a data from another table that is a table dependency table dependency then you can delete the data so this way you can achieve delete operations on spark sql the table type should be delta table if you have another type it won't support okay insert truncate 
append overwrite a comma it will support all file formats but when it comes to update delete merge only delta table it will support okay delete merge restore update only delta tables next session will understand update then we'll understand next merge so this is about today's session on sql delete operations thank you for watching my videos if you're not subscribed please subscribe my channel see you in another video thank you have a good day see you